What's up guys? It's Wednesday morning. Wednesday before Thanksgiving, so meeting dad up at camp and we're gonna go move some tree stands around and get them all ready for rifle season. Sand. That's a lot. Got his climbing stand right there. Well, we got the stand situation figured out. I'm just leaving camp, headed home. I took a nice little 45 minute nap there at camp before I left, so I'll be feeling good to. Uh, get the gutters cleaned out today. Lisa will be happy. But. It's Wednesday afternoon and I had time to run out and check my trail camera. Look at the Exodus. My archery stands right up there. There's really two places if they travel through here that they can go. It's down about 20 yards below that stand right on this uh, walkway there. Um, Really no other way for deer to get from point A to point B except for coming through here um, in two areas that I've seen deer. So, got over 200 pictures to look at from the past week and a half. So, that's a good sign, but hopefully it's not just a bunch of raccoons or something. Or like my wife and daughter walking back and forth. Hey guys, it's November 25th and I'm headed to Ohio. It's probably 4.30 in the morning right now. I'm gonna do an all day sit today and sit tomorrow morning, head back to PA. Hopefully uh, the deer are moving. Not expecting too much, but uh, had the chance to get out for a little while and I uh, haven't set the stand or hunted since October 19th. So I did go out with my dad and, and Finn a little bit. Uh, but I wasn't hunting for myself, so kind of excited just to get in a tree and enjoy the great outdoors, so see what happens. Well, I just got set up here in Ohio. It's probably about 8 o'clock. <clears throat> I've never been here, so I wanted to wait till daylight to uh, get in the stand this morning. Kind of setting up on a ridge beautiful day regardless if I see anything or not but it's a promising spot looks good in a second here I'll show you around well it's a beautiful morning I haven't seen anything other than one other guy. I think he'll figure it's Amish. Try to get away from Amish, and I find Amish, but yeah, I'm back in here maybe a half mile, so not real deep. He came up over a cliff that I went up over to get up into this spot. And I thought to myself, oh, nobody else is gonna climb up over here get into this area so I figured if people are in here walking around since Monday's the gun opener they're not gonna venture up over that I was wrong so oh well but keep sitting it out and hopefully you see more than just my face all right guys I just got done moving my stand I uh, never been in this area and wanted to look around at a couple other spots wasn't seeing much sign of it anywhere, and then I found this nice thicket in front of me, and there's a beautiful heavy rub line that cuts through here. Um, I climbed up in this little tree, and I'm only maybe 10 feet off the ground, but it gives me perfect shooting lanes. If the deer would read the script, um, it's hard 
hard hunting big woods like this, you don't see a lot of deer. But this area is rubbed up pretty good. So hopefully something works through here this afternoon. I was going to head back to the truck for lunch, but it's too far. I'm probably at least a mile and a half in, maybe more. I'm not sure. So it ought to be fun getting out of here tonight, but I'm going to set it out. The weather's beautiful. Peace and quiet. Well, guys, I'm on my way home from Ohio. I didn't vlog last night after I got out of the stand. I ended up not seeing anything. Uh, so I sat all day. Didn't see a squirrel. Still believe that area is really good. Uh, steep, rough territory. I do recommend uh, a good friend of mine, Donnie Vincent, once told me two is one, one is none. And I'm glad I took that advice because I have my sun tail and then I have my, my phone that I use for GPS. Well, trying to get out of that place in the dark was a nightmare when I've never been in there. So, phone went down um, and all I, all I could rely on was my watch. My watch doesn't show the top of line, so I was climbing huge high walls and on my hands and knees. It took me about an hour and 15, hour and 20 minutes to get out. It was rough, but anyways, I went back out this morning and we did see some bucks and a few doe. Um, kind of just hunted off the ground. Didn't really feel like walking into a new area that I've never been hanging a set. So I kind of just scouted, hunted off the ground and we had a lot of fun doing that. So anyways, I'm headed back home. I'm gonna stop at Cabela's and try on some new gear. Get some sizing for that stuff and uh, more on that later, but uh, tomorrow is the first day of Pennsylvania gun season, and Finn and I will be out on the property chasing a buck named Split, or any buck for that matter, so I'm really excited for that tonight. I'm headed over to Mark's and Lisa's to check out his new house and hang out with them, so that'll be fun. I'm looking forward to it. I'm all packed, ready to go to camp. Um, as always, I feel like I'm gonna be there for like three months with the amount of stuff that I packed, but good to go. Taking the 30 out six and the bow. Just out taking a little walk with my two favorite people in the world. We didn't make it very far. We made it to the woods and she's uh, all about <laughs> walking through the woods, so it's fun. Mark, there's a log there, you gotta step over it. Good job. <laughs> Crisp first day of rifle season. Got the camera on, put the bow in the tree. Lot six on my lap. Ozonics running up here at camp on public land. Um, in my old faithful ladder stand. So I've hunted this stand a lot, killed a lot of deer out of it. And uh, if a buck decides to wander by, Hopefully it's close enough that I can shoot it with a bow, but if it's not on the path coming to me, it's going to get dropped with the rifle. Definitely a little chilly out. Um, both my brother-in-law and my father killed their bucks early this morning, so they're already out of here. Um, Matt was about 100 yards, 150 yards down a side hill over this way. Uh, just down off of the side it gets real thick and through there with the laurel uh, he killed one first thing and then dad is on this side of me about a tenth of a mile kind of same situation just in a real thick spot with a couple intersecting trails and he had I think two different bucks through this morning and couldn't stand it anymore and ended up ended up taking a little six point so Pretty stoked on that, but I am going to get my hands back in my trusty hand warmer here and uh, try to stay warm. So it's getting to be that time when people are going to be heading back to camp to eat or having to move because they're cold. And so I'm just going to sit here all day and uh, hopefully I can catch.
watch a buck moving. So. That's cool. Driving a four wheeler through the woods. Yeah. All I saw were those uh, two doe early, and then the, the one doe worked through by itself, and the two dudes on a four wheeler. That was it. So, I'm gonna do some driving tomorrow, try to push some deer, and uh, I'll be doing most of the driving, so. We won't have any luck there as far as getting a deer down personally, but hopefully we can put a couple down to the camp, so Had a blast sitting all day. That was my first all-day sit all year even through archery season, which is a bummer I just love being in the woods that long It's just nice to sit from sun up to sundown and just take in everything so on that note I got about a mile left of this hike, so I'm gonna turn this camera off and uh, get to hiking. Uh, it's day two of rifle season, so we're out. Watch is gonna go in and get set up. The drive coming. It's gonna be a fun day. Hopefully we can put some bucks down with the rifles. We're on our first drive. Uh, we saw about four tails coming in to get set up and lined up. And now we're pushing through. This scrub oak just opened up here for me, so I had to crawl through a little section. But so far, so good. Hopefully, we can uh, hear some guns going off soon. This is the kind of place I'd live if I were a buck, though. Let's see who the heck wants to walk through. Yeah, people wonder why I can't keep things nice. My bows all get scratched up, my guns all get scratched up. Because I crawl through crap like that. And you know there are bucks around. Look at that, Rob. Or at least there were bucks around. And this is crazy thing. I love it. First gunshot. Hopefully it was our guys on the watch. 
Well, we pushed some deer off the drive. Um, a few of the guys saw some doe, and the shooting wasn't our crew, it was actually up beyond them. So deer uh, cut across early, probably chased somebody else out some bucks. It happens. But we're gonna get it lined up and stick to the plan and hit drive number two. Walking down in, we bumped a buck. Matt didn't get a shot at it. It was just kind of a couple hops and out of there, but um, always fun, exciting. Also, down to three arrows because I've been shooting at stumps as we've been driving, and I hit a rock and broke one. So, yippee! Drive number two is coming right up. Got a few miles on already. So this is my RER. Chester Floyd made this guy. It's a fantastic little one piece longbow. Um, 58 inches. 52 pounds at 27 and a half. Using a Selway slide on quiver. Which I actually like their slide ons a little bit better than the strap on that I use on the RK1. Seems a little bit more secure. But that's what I hunted the last season of archery season and we'll be hunting with through the end of the year probably so hunted with this guy all year last year really enjoy it my family's been hunting up on this mountain for the better part of a century um, my grandfather his father my dad uh, tons of great memories hunting like this um, so even though i i'm more geared towards archery hunting um, and enjoy that a little bit more uh, I still love getting out with a rifle and I want to be able to hunt some second season so that's the main reason I'm carrying a bow on a driving day because um, it'll be nice to be able to hunt behind the house and I'm going to start getting familiar with that area. Too. Sitting down hanging out here for a minute, Matt who's right below me, uh, second guy on this drive, just fired off two shots uh, at a buck and he's checking around to see. He's not sure how his shot went, but we got some shooting. It's a good sign, so. Oh, the verdict is two clean misses. So up at camp, whenever you miss a buck, you get a stripe of lipstick per bullet used. So Matt will get a stripe of lipstick on the face. Two of them for two shots fired. It happens. Well, that's a wrap on my two days up at camp rifle hunting. Or rifle slash bow hunting. And head home. Just hit the interstate, I'm on my way home. This year I had the rifle and the bow, and uh, I only grabbed the bow once because I had two does come through from behind me. I'm kind of glad that I still have tag to hunt around the house the rest of the season, and second season is going to be a blast. But I wanted to uh, to do this little section of our vlog and just take a little bit of your time to cover two topics. Number one, the podcast, and number two, the vlog. So we've been putting out these weekly vlogs now, started them right at our archery season. And so for three guys that work full time, Kevin's a chiropractor, runs his own chiropractic business, Mike. His schedule is hellacious. I work retail and I'm scheduled 44 hours a week. So for us, a lot of our hunting season is you wake up and it's ridiculously early. You get dressed, you drive someplace, you hang a tree stand, or you drive someplace and you go to a pre-hung tree stand. You sit for your two or three hours before work, you climb down and you go to work. Um, we didn't really have a lot of time to put together any other content just because that's the busyness of life. So we enjoy them and are going to keep doing the, these. Really appreciate uh, you guys hitting the subscribe button and following along kind of on our trad bow and hunting and outdoor journeys. Um, we're almost up to a thousand subscribers. 
on YouTube and that's awesome like we're really appreciative of that um, and just want to keep putting content out there but that being said as we get through the end of our hunting season this rifle season because Mike and I still have tags that we're trying to fill and I'm gonna be bow hunting behind my new house and uh, Kevin's out with Finn he's gonna be trying to get Finn his first buck and I don't know what Mike's doing but I'm sure he's gonna be chasing something with something and then after we get done with hunting season we'll have more time to hit uh, setup videos gear videos review videos um, different things like that in these weekly vlogs instead of them just being the same uh, I woke up at five o'clock I went out and hung up a tree and hey look here are three deer that I saw and then I climbed down and then we talk about it in the podcasts we haven't done a podcast for a long time and we realized that they didn't schedule anything just because after the Utah trip we really were kind of locked down with time the three of us are at a busy time in our lives we didn't have a lot of time to produce content didn't have time to get together just decided to take a little bit of time off from doing that um, that being said 2018 we've already started our podcast schedule and are stoked on uh, the consistency and what we're going to be doing in 2018 with our podcast so stay tuned again we really appreciate you guys listening I mean this is four minutes and 20 seconds of me just talking nonsense and uh, my wife has trouble listening to me for 42 seconds let alone four minutes so we do appreciate you guys uh, feel free to comment if there's anything you want us to cover in a vlog down the road comment on every video or comment on any video we read all of them um, we try to respond to all of them in as timely a matter as we can if you're out hunting best of luck to you if not shoot your bow every day it makes life a lot better so until next time stay safe and shoot straight